Instead of teaching history, a local elementary school will soon be history. KPVI News That Works For You journalist Deanne Coffin joins us now live from the newsroom with the details. Deanne. Thanks, Matt and Marlies. I met with the executive director of Neighbor Works of Pocatello today, who's in the process of buying the old Bonneville Elementary. They told me about their big plans for the property. For years, students walked the halls of Bonneville Elementary School in one of the most culturally diverse neighborhoods in Pocatello. Now it sits empty and the windows that students used to gaze out of during class are now all boarded up. Pocatello Chubbuck School District 25 announced back in October that the Board of Trustees approved a letter of intent from neighbor works of Pocatello for the sale of the Bonneville Elementary School property for $250,000. Back in the day, it, it, it was a neighborhood school and it, it was a great and vi vibrant place. Neighbor works of Pocatello says the old Bonneville Elementary School was built back in the 1920s but has been vacant for the last 17 years. The building itself is 27,000 square feet and sits on a full city block. Where the school had been vacant for 17 years, and that's just kind of a hole in that neighborhood right now that we just saw a real opportunity that, you know, to do something, to do some housing and bring back some life to that neighborhood. The executive director for Neighbor Works, Mark Dahlquist, says they've been working with the Bonneville Neighborhood Association during the process. We've been very careful to get the needs of the community and assess that and overwhelmingly that um, the majority of folks we talk to, including the ones that live within the neighborhood, they're on board with this idea and they're excited. Curry Istry lives across the street from Bonneville. She says that although she has no connection to the school, her landlord does. She grew up in this house and used to walk across the street to come over and go to school and everything. So she kind of has <laughs> some emotional ties, I guess. And some community members say they would like to see the school preserved. Any historical buildings that are uh, of that era I feel strong connection to because of the age of my mother or my grandmother and how long she had grown up here in the community. But after almost two decades of a vacant building in the area, Dalkwa says it's time to do something different. And taking the school out and building new housing is what they intend to do. For Pocatello to grow and for the entire community to be strong, that our inner central neighborhoods to need to be strong as well. And so with this Bonneville School project coming to fruition right in the center of Pocatello that's going to bring new life and new vibrancy there. Hopes to obtain the building by the first of the year. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Deanne Coffin, KPVI, news that works for you.